customize Windows 11 with open tweaks. Despite Microsoft telling us that Windows 11 is perfect, we all know that's not entirely true. Let's count together. High system requirements, many useless programs, forced use of Microsoft account, and of course, ads. Many ads. And you know what? That sucks. I don't think that these are the main advantages of Windows 11. And that's why today I will show you how you can easily and quickly customize Windows 11 and of course remove unuseful programs using free utility. So let's get it started. So friends, let's get into it. We are in Windows 11 and first of all, we need to open browser. In my case, I will open Google Chrome browser. Then we need to type next. This is Win 11, GitHub, and press enter. To make it more easier for you, I will leave link in the video description. So we need to click on this link. On this page, you may see next information, the real power toys for Windows 11. And as you can see, the name of utility is this is Win 11. Actually, this utility was made to customize and tweak Windows 11 to make it much easier to use. So we can scroll down a little bit. Please pay attention and take a close look because this utility will only work on Windows 11. It will not work on Windows 10. Now we can download this utility. So you need to click here to download the latest version. On this page, scroll down a little bit. And from this place, we can download the most suitable version for us. Here you can see when it was uploaded, May 12. In our case, we will download the X file. So just click on it and it will automatically download it on your laptop or PC. After this process, we can successfully open utility. So I will click on show in folder. There is no need to use browser, so I will close it. My friends, now please pay attention because it is very important. We need to run this application, but we need to click on the right mouse button and run it as administrator. It is necessary. I will open it in full screen. So from this place, we need to navigate to customize Windows 11. Click on it. Here you can read next. Customize Windows 11 with open tweaks. In this window, you may see the relevant build of our Windows 11. And now we can customize some features in the settings, in the desktop, in the computer, etc. So if you want to customize all of these options, you can leave everything by default. But if you want to customize each of these options, you can check each of them. It will depend on you. So in my case, I recommend to check all of these options. Now you need to click on check and don't worry because it will not customize windows without your permission. Click on check. From this place, you can enable or disable option or feature in Windows 11. In this case, on the right side, I recommend to uncheck the main option when you see windows build and then it will uncheck all the boxes. From this place, you can decide which option do you want to enable manually or disable. So for the example, I can enable Windows 11 File Explorer, which is really convenient. Actually, it all depends on you, which option do you want to enable or which feature do you want to customize. If we take a close look at the taskbar and startup menu, we can make small taskbar and icons. Also, we can hide taskbar on multi-monitors. If you wish, you can hide search icon on taskbar that's mean it will hide this search icon and what do we see here hide most used apps in startup menu which probably means we will not see no longer application files which we previously used here so actually i will enable this option good let's scroll down a little bit and here we can see desktop option in this case here we can enable dark theme so if you like you can enable dark theme and then it will change the theme of the windows i want to be honest with you i will leave this option by default because i don't like dark theme it is my personal preference and here this we can disable widgets and also uninstall widgets which is really very useful and handy all other options I will leave by default. Now we can scroll down one more time. 
quite interesting because we can remove Windows 11 system requirements watermark. Look, because we have quite handy option, install Microsoft Windows subsystem for Android, enable Microsoft Hyper-V. These options are quite important if you want to enable Play Store on your Windows 11 system. Now let's take a close look at Windows update. You can uninstall broken Windows 11 updates because after new updates, some laptops and computer behave incorrectly and that is the common reason why people want to uninstall the latest updates. I hope you are lucky and you never had this problem. Even in the gaming, we can tweak some options. For example, we can disable power throttling. And of course, let's talk about the most important feature, in my opinion, which is privacy. Here you can see important message, disable, which means you can disable all of these options. So let's take a close look. We can disable diagnostic data, connected user experience and telemetry. I want to remind you, telemetry is Windows 10 and Windows 11 feature, which allows Microsoft to collect data and learn how users use their system. Simply to understand, it this Microsoft tricky option which will allow them to use your data. As you can see, I disabled a lot of options. For example, feedback notification, location tracking, advertising ID for relevant ads. We need to disable all of these options. To make it much easier, you can just click here and that's all. It will disable all of these options. After you disable or enable some of these features on the right side, you need to click here on fix issues and it will run script, command line will appear in your window and also you will see the next message. Do you agree to all the source agreement terms? In this case, you need to type Y and press enter. Common question, how long does it take? It takes only 15 seconds. It will depend on how many options do you want to enable or disable. It transcript and it customizes a lot of options here. So let's move forward and we need to move the mouse cursor to deploy the Windows 11. You need to click on it. Now this video will be more interesting because we will remove application from the taskbar. Some applications and other application we will remove manually. So first of all, what I recommend to do is to move all these applications to the recycle bin. For this, we need to click move all. And then you can decide which application do you want to leave. And don't worry if you want to see system apps, you need to click here. And then you may see system apps, but definitely I recommend to disable this option and we will work only with these applications. For the example, if you want to leave Microsoft Office Hub, you can click on Restore Selected. And that's mean it will not delete this application. Also here you can see Microsoft Paint. I think this application is very useful for many users. I will click on Restore Selected. On this stage, I recommend to be patient and take your time because some of these applications will be deleted permanently, so you cannot restore them anymore. Okay, I will leave Windows Photo, Restore Selected, Windows Maps. Again and again, I want to repeat, if you want to leave application, you need to select application which you want to leave and then click here, Restore Selected. After all this process, you need to click on Empty Bin. Do you want to empty the recycle bin and delete all apps in it? I will select yes. This process may take from few seconds to few minutes. It will depend on how many applications do you want to delete. Be patient and take your time. As you can see, not all applications were deleted permanently, but in my opinion, it's not a deal breaker. At least we saved 17 apps. After this process, we can close the utility and go to the Windows Startup menu. If you take a close look, we still have some annoying ads, but in this case, we can delete them manually. For this, we need to click on the right mouse button and click Uninstall. I will delete this application. Prime Video. So, of course, if you want to leave some application, for example, Netflix, you can leave it. But if you don't want to use this annoying application, you can just click Uninstall. It will depend on you.
I want to note if you made some changes in the utility, it is necessary to restart your system. My conclusions. In my opinion, it is one of the best utilities, it is quite easy to use and it doesn't require to have high technical skills to tweak some options in Windows 11. Of course, it has some disadvantages, for the example, it cannot delete all applications and that sucks. On the other side, it provides us a lot of other convenient and useful options which we can tweak in Windows 11. If this video was useful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to delete undeletable files in Windows 11 and Windows 10.